Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fluid Flux 2.0. Now, we made a video about this a couple of months back. Pretty much trying to figure out what is the best water plugin or system in Unreal Engine 5.2 or Unreal Engine 5 for that matter. So, uh, as far as I know, this is not out yet, but they just released this, I think, four or five days ago, just demonstrating the new update that's going to be coming out in the marketplace. Now, I'm making this video because this thing right here is pretty expensive. So I'm going to try and see if, you know, by watching the showcase, I'm finally going to buy the plugin um, and pretty much, you know, show it to y'all to see if you're going to be interested in buying it as well. So that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. dies down and then falls. It's hilarious. That's cool. Changing the material, I guess.
Okay, so that's pretty much the demonstration, and what I'm going to do is kind of talk about what I really do like about this right here. What I do really like in this, and what's starting to help with the actual photorealism, now this is real time as far as I know, this is not pre-render or anything like that, uh, this is being ran in Unreal Engine 5 real time. Uh, you have some caustics here, which is really nice, right? And I really do like this, um, I, I don't know what it's called, but when the water comes in, it leaves like an imprint right? And it looks like it's doing that properly now. I don't remember it doing it like that last time. I might be wrong. But as you can see, when the water goes up, it actually leaves a shadow on the sand like in real life. Although, you know, that's, I think that's a little bit too fast, but at least it's there. Look at that. You see, that sells every single little detail um, that you add in this is going to sell that effect. Now, the water flow right here it's it's not there yet. I mean, you can really tell that it still doesn't look like water per se. It still looks just like something moving. But as far as the coastline goes, like a beach goes, this is actually starting to look really good right here. You have caustics, you have the sand, the waves are starting to crash. So you can see you get that right here. It's starting to... Whenever it hits the little shallow area, it's starting to crash into the actual shore. Man, I, I, I totally forgot how much this is. Actually, let's let's check it out. So yeah, this is like a $350 purchase, man. This is a tough one. This is probably the hardest purchase I've ever had to make in here. Because yeah, this is a lot of money. Although you do get a lot of features for this. Hmm. But as far as real time goes, in Unreal Engine, I think this is the best one. I honestly can say that this is the this is the best one I've seen in the marketplace, that is. But at that being said, let me know, man. Let me know what y'all think, because this is going to be a hard one. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger yet. Honestly, after after seeing this 350, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna hold off because again, for me, I'm gonna use it more for cinematics and such. Um, which unfortunately, Houdini. If you want photorealism, you're gonna have to go with Houdini Sim. Yeah, this is a tough one. Let me know in the comments below, man. <laughs> I'm curious to know what y'all think about this new update that's coming to uh, Fluid Flux.